What's up guys, this is Black Waltz coming at you with a 3.1.3 uh, iPod jailbreak video and I need to mention quite a lot of things um, this only works with the iPod Touch first generation, second generation and also the iPhone 1G, 2G, 3G and 3GS um, but with the 3GS you have to have the older boot model which is MB and not MC and in order to check that is you go on your iPhone go to settings and then about and if your model number is MB then you should be fine if it's MC you're out of luck uh, basically you gotta wait for GeoHot's uh, jailbreak release he uh, announced it a couple weeks ago I believe around March 25th or something but yeah anyways what you need is you need a jailbroken iPod um, I think it has to be 3.1.2 and if it's not jailbroken then this tutorial won't work for you uh, you need Snowbreeze and you need the IPSW file for the corresponding iDevice that you have in my case I'm using an iPod touch second generation and I'm about to show you where to get Snowbreeze okay uh, you get Snowbreeze from IHateSnow.com uh, you just want to download it on the right here, Snow Breeze. And then in order to get the 3.1.3 firmware, you go to felixbruns.de. Okay, all this will be in the description, so just check the description and it'll be in there. Down below. And you want to go to the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad section. And since I'm using this iPod Touch 2G, I want to download the iPod Touch 2G 3.1.3 and I already have it downloaded so I'm good it, it might take a while to download it depending on your internet because it's a pretty huge file um, so let me just get back to my desktop okay I have Snowbreeze here if you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7 run it as administrator just to avoid any problems okay it'll just give you a disclaimer saying that if you bought it then just get a refund I don't it doesn't really matter okay okay then you want to hit this blue next button here and you could either choose simple mode or expert mode I'm gonna be doing expert mode I've never done simple mode but it's probably as easy now I'm gonna browse for the 3.1.3 file that I downloaded from the firmware site in my case it's the iPod 3.1.3 open and it's going to process and verify and you're also going to get this notice this notice uh, might be different if you're using an iPhone it's just going to tell you that you can't you, it, this jailbreak won't work with MC models I understand okay it will verify the IPSW just hit next now you have all these uh, like sub categories to pick from just go to general and hit next alright root partition size um, I've seen people do a thousand I don't know why but it really doesn't matter to be uh, honest and if you're using an iPhone you might have an extra like an additional check uh, saying activate iPhone if you have a legitimate carrier such as AT&T then you want to uncheck the activation check mark okay so just hit next now you get to choose installers you have to have Cydia there's there's no way around that but also gives you an option to download rock um, in my case I don't really want rock but I could get it whenever I want from Cydia so it's up to you just hit next and now you could uh, put in your apps resources and every every good thing like that and I don't really have anything to add to be honest so I'm just gonna hit next alright uh, boot logo this, this page doesn't really matter but I'd like to keep these boot logos because they look really nice the boot logo and recovery logo and you can make your own as long as it follow these follow follows <laughs> sorry these guidelines on the bottom here uh, okay next now what you want to do is you want to build your IPSW, your jailbroken IPSW. Uh, go ahead and do that and hit next. 
Are you sure that you want to continue? Yes. Okay, this might take a while. It might not take a while for the iPod Touch. I'm, I'm guessing like two minutes. Um, it, uh, I know for a fact that it's faster than Red Snow, so uh, let me just stop the video here and I'll return when it's done. Alright guys, it's uh, done with whatever it was doing, creating the new jailbroken uh, restore. And basically you want to check your desktop for something along the lines of this right here, Snowbreeze iPod Touch 2G IPSW. Um, the name will vary obviously but once you do that you want to open iTunes uh, make sure your iPod is connected it's gonna sync my iPod right here um, what you want to do is you want to set your iPod in DFU mode now I've heard people doing it without putting it in DFU mode but I'm not going to take the chance Anyways, in order to put your iPod in DFU mode, you just want to hold the um, home button and the top button for for 10 seconds, and then after 10 seconds, you want to let go of the, uh, the top button, and, but keep on holding the uh, home button. I'll have a description. Or, sorry, I'll have a link in the description down below. Alright, I just put my iPhone in DFU mode and you're going to get this message. iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Alright, so you're on the iPod tab and you just see a restore button. What you want to do is you want to shift click on restore and then this will allow you to choose the newly uh, jailbroken restore. Uh, Snow Breeze, iPod Touch, yada yada. Open that and it will extract everything and begin the process. Okay, um, this is gonna take a while, but um, after this, I'll, actually, I'm gonna stop the video and discuss more things after it's done. All right, guys. As you can see, it's uh, uh, restoring the snow breeze restore, and just let it do its thing. This is gonna take a while. Um, and also, sorry for the bad quality. I didn't have my extra camera on hand, and I'm using my iPhone 3GS. So, yeah. As you can see, it's almost done, and this will take a while, probably like 10 minutes, I'm guessing. But just let it do what it's gonna do. And I'll be back on the computer explaining some more stuff. Uh, here you have it. Uh, software version 3.1.3. Um, successfully jailbroken from 3.1.2. And just to let you know, basically all of your stuff is going to be erased. And what you could do is you could back it up, but that won't do anything. For your apps and, and all that good stuff and your you know winter winter board uh, so yeah just just keep in mind that um, upgrading from 3.1.2 to 3.1.3 isn't really a big deal and people do it because they have to I guess um, to me it's not worth the hassle but hey why not you know um, Alright guys, thanks for watching, if you um, like this video then give it a thumbs up, I know it's not uh, 5 stars anymore, uh, if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and I will try to get uh, as much of your questions as I can.